there's like a, a school of thought and a, a world of making money on the internet that goes something like you have to reach out to everyone. You have to be in their inboxes, you have to be in their groups, you have to be on their pages, you have to go to them, you have to go to them, you have to go to them, you have to go to them. And I do not feel that at all. I feel fully like everyone gets to come to me. People DM me and say, how can I pay you? What are you selling right now? People I've never heard of DM me and say, I need to pay in full for your mastermind. My experience is people come to me. courses. I have a course on um, coaching. I have a course on, what else do I have courses on? I have a t money. Money is obviously my favorite. I have my bundles on money, my course on money. I have all these things. I never asked if they went together because they're me. They're all extensions of me. People constantly ask me to talk more about like body image. People ask me to talk more about love. So I have a whole bunch of podcasts now about how I view love and relationships. Like but I don't consider any of that off brand because it's all me. It's all my truth. It's all what I'm going through. It's all what I have to say. So I remember worrying about it when I had a blog. This is like eight years ago. I mean, maybe I was a year and maybe it's seven years ago. I had a blog and my blog was all very like life lessons, self-helpy, personal development. And sometimes I wanted to talk about fashion. And I remember crying on the phone to my boyfriend being like, can I talk about fashion? Will people think I'm shallow? Will it go with the brand? And now you better believe me and my fashion are all up over all of my social medias because it is me. I'm not going to pretend that I don't love anything I love to hope it fits a branding because the brand is me. Like you are your brand. You are your niche. You are the thing. I have a brand where Amanda Francis Inc. is the name of the company and I'm Amanda Francis, so that's easy. I am the brand, but it doesn't matter. Do you guys, I'm gonna give an example that I know of because I don't follow many people online, so I'm gonna give you someone who I follow. Do you know who Ali Webb is? She's the founder of Dry Bar, you know, the blowout bars. I think there's like a ton of them. I think I Googled somewhere that she's worth like $100 million. So Ali Webb is Dry Bar and Dry Bar is Ali Webb. When you go to dry bars instagram there's a vibe when you go to ali's page that vibe is a reflection of this woman you know what i mean like it's an extension of her and that's how it feels so there isn't any cohesiveness even though she's like a a brand with services and products and storefronts which is very different than me but you can tell that is an authentic brand based on something someone really believed in does this make sense so my feeling about it is that i allow my business to be me and and me to be my business there isn't any meshing because it's all one thing you know like it's all one thing it's all Amanda's life and how she monetizes it so it's all one thing so like I'm clear that I typically help women who want to make more money and want to grow a business like I'm aware of that but do people come in through up from under in other industries? Like, yes. Do I get all kinds of people? Do we get men? Like, totally. Do we get people who have no interest in having a business but want to hear what I have to say and apply it to their lives and their ways? Yes. So here's the biggest difference. This is the last thing I'm going to say, but this is a good thing to end on. There's like a, a school of thought and a, a world of making money on the internet that goes something like you have to reach out to everyone. You have to be in their inboxes, you have to be in their groups, you have to be on their pages, you have to go to them, you have to go to them, you have to go to them, you have to go to them. And I do not feel that at all. I feel fully like everyone gets to come to me. People DM me and say, how can I pay you? What are you selling right now? People I've never heard of DM me and say, I need a pay in full for your mastermind. My experience is people come to me. So... You might be thinking, yeah, but you have a big following and some people know who you are or whatever. But I always felt that way. Like back in the beginning, I was saying what I had to say. I was sharing my truth on my page, my Facebook group, my places. And back then it was like there were a lot less 
people, you know, like we're going to have like 18,000 transactions this year. Like there's a lot of people, <laughs> there's all us people. So I had a lot more room to answer questions and DMs, which you guys know, I still kind of do like more than I maybe like should <laughs> at this point. But like there was more space to say like DM me, it's fine. Ask me questions, whatever. There was like more room for that, but it was still like, come to me. I have not cold messaged someone one single time in eight years. No cold email, no cold message. I create something followable, something interesting, something watchable so people come to me. Because that is fame. Like that, that is what all of this is. That is the influence. That is the I stand here. Here's how it feels to me. I feel like I stand on my platform my level, my standard of Amanda Francis-ness, and I stand there and I do my thing, and I don't need to go down anywhere, anywhere to find anyone. I can stand on my platform, my podcast platform, my email platform, my Instagram platform. I can stand on my platform and people can rise up and come into my world. Not saying I'm better or higher or something, just saying like I do life at a standard that feels like a high level to me, and I love for everyone to come feel better. I want everyone to feel better, elevate their energy, see what's possible, see what it feels like at this level. And I want them to come and I want them to do the thing with me and some of them pay me. And that's kind of it. Okay, okay. I love you guys. Bye.